I am fortunate enough to be in one of the largest healthcare training simulation centers in the world. We are at 90,000 square feet um, and we train everything from nurses to physicians to uh, pharmacists. We train about 50,000 folks per year. As it relates to body donation impact, um, definitely on the scale of hundreds to thousands of learners per year. We have an incredible partnership with uh, UTN. Body donations are still incredibly critical to training education. Probably the, the largest reason in the US is even though we have the latest, greatest technology available, the level of technology for these existing mannequins and task trainers don't meet our needs. They're, they're not at the level of realism that can give them real training education. And so instead of having a medical student or a surgery resident do their first case or a suture in the operating room on a real patient, now we're able to use um, both body donation cadavers for uh, practice and training. And so that when they're in the operating room, they're not causing errors. They're, they're keeping the patient safe and they're doing the best they can uh, for their procedures. And, and that's really how uh, things have tra tra transformed over the last 20 years. And, and so we're very fortunate to be working with UTN.